We've got a new prime minister in place. What's next for Thai politics? That's right. We have a new prime minister in place. He's received the endorsement of parliament. This is a man that's gotten the support of forces that align with the palace. So what's next? Uh, this is a promise to end the political deadlock that has gripped the nation for months. And we could see this paving the way, right, for the formation of the next government. Now, Srita's uh, Poor Thai Party uh, is effectively helmed by Taksin Shinawat. So the question on everyone's minds is what role will Taksin in play in Thai politics going forward. And this is a man that, you know, after 15 years of self-imposed exile, returned to the country on the same day that the prime minister vote was held. Uh, it's been said that he has uh, effectively cut a deal with the military establishment. It could see him uh, serve less time in jail. Uh, he's also expected to receive a royal pardon. Now, all eyes will be next on what happens uh, when Srita goes on to uh, form his cabinet. April, of course, we know that Thailand's economy has started to slow down, is one of the slowest growing in Southeast Asia. So what's the first order of business for Srita? Well, it will be to follow up on those campaign pledges and to fire up the economy. Um, his Pre Thai party had previously promised to hike uh, uh, you know, the minimum wage and the government has also pledged uh, to, you know, uh, hand out, uh, give hands out on cash, on land, on subsidies as well. Uh, so it will really be on how or whether they indeed follow up on these campaign pledges. And as you said, you know, Thailand is among the slowest going in Southeast Asia, but so far it's been pretty well received. You know, the idea that that there is some semblance of stability returning to Thai politics. Uh, Thailand's stock market actually was uh, the best performing in Asia on Tuesday.